elevated off two feet. We've got a foul off the ball here. <laughs> Hold up. Guys, uh, particularly Blatch, Jason Castro, Hontaburis, you know, Renadel Dio, eight rebounds per game in 22 minutes, and that's a really impressive rebounding rate. Q8 win the opening tip. First possession, and uh, they're going to put a little early challenge to the Philippines. That one from downtown. Blatch draws the attention, moves it out to the perimeter. Back to back threes for the Philippines. As winding down to the final five seconds again. Wide open is Al Jamar for three and answers. He's a prime time shooter. The Philippines trying for one of their own and getting into trouble. The Philippines with the steal and going for. You know, the execution's been good from Kuwait. It's happened. Nor will be in fact by Q8 on half court. Now Saeed puts up the three off the broken play, gets the nice pirouette move towards the hoop, and a very pretty Fiends can come on the fast break here with Castro. Nobody faster than him. They lead by five. Don't have it the wing position. Blatch driving inside again. And there's a bit. Force a steal. Al Saeed as they play out of it. Nice move. Romeo looking to move it to the corner. Seven of 29 from the field. He makes both of his free throws. And here comes Romeo. Oh, rejection, but put back in by... Into Taulava, back to Pingris. He missed them both from the foul line, but he gets the two. Across to Romeo on the far side, takes the three and knocks down the three. And it goes towards a Puebla chance at a three-point play. The two-year-old comes up with a steal. He's looking to go all the way. In the first quarter. Five. International FIBA tournaments. He played at this tournament, batted into the air, but straight to Taulava. And he was an old player then, really, at the age of 34. They can't finish. There's still time for the Philippines, especially with this man on the ball, Romeo bursting away. Basketball World Cup last year in Spain that when the field first free throw a little bit closer with the second one but misses them both and at the other end to Asite and Abueva coming forward again the beast is back in business here comes Abueva bursting away and able to provide a yep, four quick five points to take him to eight they've got another steal here and they will put it in with JC Intel who gets Another basket for the Philippines. Here they come trying to end that drought. Move for their Campo trying to get closer to the basket. Rim. And when, you, when your motivation drops a little. Al Saeed looking to drive inside, moves it over to the far side. They'll try the three. And after 0 of 10 in game one, they put that one in. You want to try and add to that here with the three. Another one. For Abu Dom, back to Campo. And the Philippines continue to get away from Blatch over to the far side. Abu Dom with another three. Make it three from downtown minutes of the half. There's that lightning fast crossover again. Stop the leak and get the game back on their terms. Moves it forward to Norwood who hangs it up there. And a pretty finish from JC Intel. There's the alley oop. JC Intel, eight points. Kuwait looking to finish with a basket here. Nice move End of the half offensive board and banked in by Ranadal Deo Campai. <laughs> Philippines will pull up for a three of their own and knock it down. And the lead. Back to Castro. Castro looking to burst with so much energy. Castro is going to pull up for the three now and knocks that one down too. Five points at the start. Jamari from Blatch. Drives by him with ease and then puts it in off the fingertips. And a look on to get into the paint, looking to bulldoze his way through the defense, grabs his own rebound and puts it in with a foul. In the shot defeat on game day one. Although when the Philippines come in transition, here comes Blatch, able to get it to go. Over to the far side, the three is good, right on the money. Castro again turning on the afterburners and finishing. Toss setting the screen. 
Moving inside, receiving it in the paint, blocked off, but able to put it in. Into the low post, spin towards the basket. What a pretty move that is. Looking to burst into the paint. There's the boss again. Four. Thrown straight into the hands of Al Saeed, who's then fouled. It's Al Saeed at the line, hits that one, two of three, and make it three of down court here with a waiver. Free passage to the hoop for the fancy finish. They certainly come to life here in the second half. Conte Veyros with three, oh, with ten shooting game in game one, three of eleven here today. They put it in from the losing the most fashionable thing on the court here today either. Romeo from way out, he misses as well, but an offensive board. And that time there is a simple finish. Passes up the three this time, Al Hamidi. Abu Dom's going to take it on. And he will knock to ten points now. Romeo, lightning fast crossover. Beautiful move. They lose it this time. And they won't get a shot away in time, Q8. And that brings the... You look at the turnovers. Q8 had seven at quarter time. Never it's off over on the far side by Pingris. Athletic and athletic. And at 26... Eight point. Jc Intel moves it straight into Toss. The ball high up towards Al Saeed, caught by El Shamari instead, and he squeezes it in. Four of six from downtown before that. Long two here for the Philippines, knocked down. And there's there's that dribble move from Romeo. It, it doesn't look overly complicated. The far side to Al Shamari, who puts it up from the outside and puts it in. What a can go through the gears again up against. The number four from today, 41 bench points for the Philippines. The bench unit gets stuck in a half court. I don't think they can think. Now Jamar takes on the long two and hits. Now Saeed shoots the three and hits the three. Defensively, he was the rock inside. And the rock is Asi Taulava. Romeo to the foul line, then further inside towards Taulava, who turns around and puts Jamar Al Saeed passed up the opportunity to shoot the three. Drives inside, lovely move. Athlete. And just four points for the Philippines, so looks like they're not going to be able to challenge. Taulava grabs the rebound. Nine points and nine boards now, and this is the incident that's led to the disqualification of Al Hamadi. Oh, grabs his own rebound. And even when their centre's running the fast break, we still get two, three extra passes. His athleticism and 12 for Abu Dom. We've admired his three points. The referee. You can see the battle wound. Like foul. An unsavoury fin given away to JC Intel, and this oh. time he just takes over the Philippines. Oh. And the Philippines and move into the second round with real momentum, firing on all cylinders, four Impressive with 10, Abu Dom with 12, I think he was our favourite on the Q80s.